going on everybody it's the Airy Lord and um, I don't know if I want to call this a gaming update but this is definitely an update of some sort for you guys I just wanted to go over some things and ask the opinion of the fans really quick um, because I feel like um, I feel like I'm pressured from all sides okay and I'll, I'm gonna explain what I'm talking about in a little bit alright so for those of you who are kind of new to all of this, basically, I right now am doing my playthrough of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, and I've right now I've only made like six videos of it, alright? Honestly, I'm like barely, I've, I've done like two quests, I've barely done like anything in the game, I still have a lot of stuff to do, I have like, pr I, I probably have like a hundred plus videos, I'm not even joking, a hundred plus videos to make on this game. And after that, I still have to play Saints Row the Third, and I also still have to play the Halo HD Anniversary, which probably won't take that long, but it's still on my schedule as far as games. Then I will be complete for 2011, okay? But here lies the problem, okay? Today, right now, the date is 11:27, okay? So it is November 27th, and in one month we will reach my the one year anniversary of when I opened up my YouTube channel a year ago and I was just doing random stuff on YouTube and I'm, I was planning on discussing more of this stuff when we got to that date but I feel like I kinda need to put it out now so that a lot of people know and I'm probably gonna keep this video up on my page for some time so that people know about it and I might take a little bit of a hiatus as far as the channel goes because honestly I feel like what I'm doing is kind of getting stale at this point, alright? And what I'm gonna, what I'm going to propose to everybody is a little bit of a change, okay? And I'm gonna kind of give you a little bit of history in case you don't know what I'm talking about. So basically, for those of you who, I don't know, some people are fans from early 2011 when I was doing this more heavily, some are recent fans, some came over to my videos in September when I started to get lots of promotion. Um, regardless of where you came from and how you came to my channel, you know that what I do primarily is game playthroughs, okay? I'll get a game, and I'll open the game, and I'll put the game in my 360 or my PlayStation 3, and I will start the camera, and I will basically close the game tray, and I'll just start playing. Like, I won't use any online strategies, I won't use any tips, I won't use any helpful guides, I won't think of any jokes, I'll just play the game from start to finish, do the multiplayer and co-op if there is any in the game, and then I will give an honest review of what I thought of the game and I'll score it from on a rating scale from 0 to 10. So that's basically what I do for my playthroughs. Sometimes I'll do unique things, like I did do my Halloween special a couple of weeks ago, uh, well, not really a couple of weeks ago, almost a month ago, I did my Halloween special where I actually filmed my iPod Touch and I played a application f for the iPod Touch called Zombieville, and it was it was a, it was just like a little you know one of those games you could play on like a car ride or something where you're basically just shooting the hell out of zombies and it, it you know since zombies fit with Halloween, I thought it would be fun to do instead of the normal. You know, instead of doing some sort of Nazi zombies or Black Ops zombies like I was thinking of doing originally on my system. So, different things like that, different unique things, I do that kind of stuff. So, right now, as I mentioned, I still have three games to play, okay? Uh, I think two weeks ago I bought four games, and I knew that it was going to be insane because I was going to... Because basically my goal was to finish all four of these games before the year was up. And I knew that that was going to be a very, very hard task. Primarily for a couple of reasons. Number one, this is just a hobby. This isn't any full-time thing that I do. This is just stuff that I do on the side for enjoyment, just so people can enjoy it every once in a while. And I also do this for my own personal enjoyment. I actually like doing this channel stuff. It's fun that I get to meet so many fans and new people and people who help me with maybe my playthroughs or stuff on my channel to help it make, to help make it look more professional. So I definitely appreciate any criticism or any helpful tips that my fans have given me in any way, shape, or form, but at this point right now, I think that it's getting to the point where I'm going to need to maybe change it up a little bit, 
and I don't really know how I'm going to do that, and maybe I won't do it at all, but I'm thinking about it because right now, like, I'm going to be quite honest, okay? I could easily start playing Sky uh, I could easily start playing Skyrim right now. I could I could make 15 videos and I'd upload them to YouTube and people would try to view as many videos as they could possibly view and then I'd play the game and then I'd finish it and then it would be done. But a couple things. Number one, people don't necessarily have a lot of time to view every single video that I upload. And that's why a lot of my videos don't have an insane number of views because I'll upload like 15 or 20 videos in one sitting and they'll upload one after the other and people don't have time to watch a 15, 10 minute videos. I mean, you can do the math in your head how many like hours that is to just watch every single video so people pick and choose what they want to watch. And I completely understand, I know it's very time consuming to watch all of these videos to sit at your computer and just stare at them and just, you know, listen to, you know, what I'm doing and it's, it can be, you know, time consuming, I know. So people pick and choose what they want and as a, as a result I might not get as many views as I could get but over time the views do add up to a number which I think is pretty good for my channel. So, so I mean right now I honestly don't feel like playing Skyrim, okay? I'm gonna be honest, alright? Skyrim, you know, I played Oblivion a couple of years back, and it was an okay game, like, I wasn't really into RPGs, and I'm still not into RPGs, I don't prefer RPGs, those weren't the games that I grew up with, I didn't grow up playing Final Fantasy, I didn't grow up playing those kind of RPG games that everyone says that they're so used to and stuff, like, I'm not a fan of RPGs, and I'm not a fan of medieval games, like, Lord of the Rings, like the movie series, Lord of the Rings is an okay series for me, but I don't like the medieval aspect. And same thing with Skyrim and Oblivion. I don't like the medieval, you know, thou shall, you know, join the guilds of thy yonder brother. It's like, I don't give a crap about all that nonsense, alright? I'd rather play a game like Fallout and Fallout 3, you know, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, where... You know, you've got lots of interesting guns, there's a mystery behind the whole apocalypse, and there's lots of different, you know, crazy people that exist after the after the apocalypse and the nuclear war that occurred. I like that more. Maybe, you know, it's science fiction, it's all that, you know, high technology, futuristic stuff, and it's just, it's what, it's my preference, okay? Everyone has their preference, and that's why I put more time into playing New Vegas and Fallout 3 in previous years, and on my channel, I've taken footage of the five D. Uh, how many? No, four DLCs. The four DLCs that have come out for Fallout New Vegas, I've done a playthrough of all four of them, and I've enjoyed them. And I want to. At the time, I was like, "All right, I really want to play this DLC because I like the world of Fallout. I like the guns. I like the mechanics. And I really want to see how the DLCs add to the content." To be truthful, if the if a DLC came out for Skyrim, like let's say I completed Skyrim, I beat the game and a DLC comes out sometime in the future, okay? I wouldn't want to necessarily buy the DLC because it'd, it'd be like some sort of, you know, save the brotherhood of ye yonder dragon cave or something. But I know they don't, <laughs> I'm not trying to be racist or anything. I know they don't speak in that tongue. I'm just saying I don't like the medieval, you know, swords and, and blacksmiths and I don't like that aspect. Now I can see already that Bethesda is taking aspects from Fallout and Oblivion and kind of meshing it into this game, alright? You can see it, the lock picking, from what I've played, the lock picking is exactly the same as Fallout 3, it's no different, it, it's the same mechanics. You know, the combat, you know, when you get a critical hit or something, it'll show you your guy go into an almost VATS kind of mode. There is no VATS in the game, but when you get the, the last kill with your sword, you can kind of see how it's almost like VATS. And the whole mechanics of fast travel, it's its very similar, okay? It's very similar to how Oblivion and Fallout have played. And I'm not trying to give my review of Skyrim right now, but these are my impressions of playing the intro of the game and kind of going to the different towns and the stuff that I've done in the game. Because I have uploaded six videos of Skyrim, and I have gotten a, you know, a sort of a feel for the game. I haven't done stuff like magic and all that stuff, but... But I don't need to go off into a tangent about Skyrim. My purpose in making this video is I want fan feedback, all right? What do you think I should be doing in the future? You know, 2012, we're going to be seeing 
a, a, a you know variety of games will have Mass Effect 3, Max Payne 3, you know, Bioshock Infinite. There's going to be a lot of unique games coming out, and I want to play these games in a way that'll be interesting for people to watch. I don't want to just take a hundred videos of Mass Effect 3 and have two people watch a, like part 45 of the playthrough. And I don't want to, you know, just make these pointless videos that are just free-flowing on YouTube that no one really gives a shit about. So, I want, you know, opinions from my fans. What do you think I should do? Do you like the fact that I do these playthroughs? Do you like me doing improv live commentary? Maybe, I don't know, maybe would you prefer me to do more of a run-and-gun kind of thing where I do, like, multiplayer? Do you prefer me to be, like, you know, these other commentators like Chris Smoove where he just he makes a couple of multiplayer videos from Call of Duty and he'll get maybe an awesome kill streak, a game winning kill. He'll get like fifth he'll go like forty five and two and that'll be his signature video for two weeks and then he'll make another video. So would you prefer that? Because I'll tell you, it would be way easier for me to do something where I spend a lot of time mastering the effects and stuff for one video than to make a million videos where it's all kind of average. So it's really your preference and my audience is, you know, important to me so I want to make sure what I'm doing is pleasing them. So that's why I'm asking you, the viewer, the fan who's watching this footage, what you think of my gameplay. Do you like me doing playthroughs? Do you like my reviews? Are they, are they informative? Are they helpful? Do you want me to do, you know, other things in the future? Would you like to see me play, you know, old games? Because there are some, you know, anniversaries coming up for old games I used to play years ago, and I'm thinking of doing an anniversary playthrough where maybe I go into my closet and I get my PlayStation 2, I bring it out, I hook it up to my TV, and I actually play some of these older games that I used to play do a playthrough of it and kind of say, oh, I used to do this with my friends and that was really fun and we like this and I'm really good at this part of the game. So I think that would be fun to play a game that I played years ago but then kind of bring it back through my channel and have everyone enjoy it. So I could do that. I could play classic games. I could do, you know, live multiplayer gameplay. It's uh, There's so many things. So many people on YouTube have video gaming channels and all of them have their preference. All of them do different things, okay? And I know in the past people have accused me of being, you know, the DSP reincarnate, you know, copying Phil and all of his work that he does. And I know that people have made those accusations, and that's part of the reason why I get a hundred dislikes on my videos, why, you know, one guy will stalk all of my videos and accuse me of copying all these different people. So, but over time I've accepted the inevitability that that's just haters, but I also I also think that what I'm doing on YouTube is, yes, it's similar to other people, but I definitely try to put my own touch to it. You know, I do my own commentary, I do my own gameplay, I film it on my own TV, with my own camera, I'm doing this on my time, my filming is different from anyone else's, and my opinions are different, my scores are different, so it's a different world you're getting when you watch my videos, so it's not the same as other people on YouTube, but I want you to feel that when you watch my videos. So, again, if you have criticism, please comment on this video and tell me what you think I should be doing in, as, in terms of the future of my YouTube channel, because I definitely want to put out footage that is pleasing. There are lots of games that you know, I want to play games that are fun. You know, when I review a game, I always review it on the fun factor. And a lot of games, I have to say, doing playthroughs has allowed me to play games that I wouldn't normally have played. Like Human Revolution, I was not going to do a playthrough of Human Revolution, but then a lot of people suggested I play it. I did a playthrough of it, and now it's my contender, one of my contenders for Game of the Year. It's an amazing game, and I thought it was brilliant. You know, also Arkham City. I was thinking of getting Arkham City even if I didn't have a YouTube channel, but again, that's another game that's one of my Game of the Year contenders. That's an awesome game that I might not have played if I didn't have this YouTube channel. And again, this is all stuff that I wanted to talk about with my one-year channel anniversary and all that, not, uh, all that you know, nonsense, but I kind of want to make it early because I want to get a general consensus from the people, the people who are watching my videos, what you think. So I don't want to make this video too long, I'm, I'm already almost up to 15 minutes of straight footage, so 
So please, if you have any comments, if you want to voice your opinion on how you think I've been doing with my videos, what you would like me to play, do you want to see more Skyrim? Do you want to maybe see, like right now, like honestly, after I'm done with making this video, I'm probably going to go play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 because a lot of my friends that I know in my real life, that I know over, you know, just Xbox over the years. They've been asking to play Modern Warfare 3 with me. They've been asking to play Gears of War 3 with me. All of these multiplayer games that have come out that I've done reviews on, I want to go back to these games and play them a little bit. I don't want to just throw them aside since I've already played all the content in them. And I kind of want to play them more than, let's say, Skyrim or Saints Row. Skyrim and Saints Row, they're not really the top on my list and I don't feel like rushing through these games just for the sake of saying oh I played it I did my review here you go here's the footage now I can move on to whatever I want to do all right so I definitely think I could stop my playthrough of Skyrim and Saints Row. I haven't even started Saints Row I have started a little a little bit of Skyrim Halo I could easily do I could probably beat Halo in one sitting. The HD Halo, I could probably beat that in one sitting. So that's not a problem. It's Saints Row and Skyrim that are the long games that I'm probably going to have to dedicate a lot of time into. And Assassin's Creed, the reason why I put a lot of time into that game is because I've played every single game in that franchise. Saints Row, I've I never played Saints Row 1 or 2. I never played them. They just they didn't appeal to me. I liked Grand Theft Auto better. And for Skyrim, I already told you I didn't play much of Oblivion, and I love the Fallout series, so that's my story with their games. So, so I'm going to end this video. I'm already in 16 minutes, so please, I'm going to leave this open. What the hell did I just do? What the? Who the? Shut the fuck up, that dumb asshole. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. I think I flipped my controller by accident. But anyways, um, I'm going to sign off. Um, you can leave your comments on this video as far as what you think I should do for the future. What do you want to see? Do you want to see multiplayer gameplay? Do you want to see classic video games? Do you want to see parts of playthroughs? What do you want to see from my footage? That's what I'm trying to get out. I don't want to just do this and piss people off or do this and not feel happy with what I'm doing or feel, you know, weary that I'm playing these stupid games that I might not want to necessarily play because Skyrim, I'm not necessarily having a whole hell of a lot of fun. And I know some people might be like, oh, how are you not having fun with Skyrim? I just don't feel like playing it, dude. It's a game that you have to put a lot of time into. You have to go to different places and get good armor and craft your weapons and get magic skill. It's a game that takes a lot of time to consume into it. And a game like, I hate to say it, a game like Modern Warfare 3 where I can just jump into it, play a couple of multiplayer matches and put the controller aside, that's what I prefer. And that's kind of, again, the thing about taste, you know, the different tastes, what people find amusing to them. Like, do people find games like Skyrim and other RPGs more enjoyable because they take more time? And if you were to get one game, like, maybe you might get, the only game you buy this fall is Skyrim, and I can see why, because it's a game you could play for hours and hours and hours and beat. But for me, I have other games I need to play. I have other multiplayer games I've already purchased that I already want to play. Skyrim might not be the best buy for me because... It's just so time-consuming, and I want to play other games, so it might not be the best game for me to play. So, again, I'm not saying I'm going to stop my playthrough. I'm definitely considering it, but if you want to see my playthrough, voice your opinion. So, that's what I'm trying to stress. Voice your opinion. Comment on this video, like right now. Comment. You see? Comment on the video below. I want you to comment. I want you to tell me what you think of my gameplay, my footage, what you've seen so far on my channel, and how I can improve in the future, so this can help me for future content, okay? So this will help you see quality footage in the future, okay? So this is the Eerie Lord. I'll see you guys later. I hope you're enjoying everything, and please comment and tell me what you think.